and welcome back to the channel we're still on offer up fort lauderdale area 80 mile radius looking for cars and trucks trucks and cars for uh, between 300 and 1500 dollars all right let's uh, jump right in and see what uh we're looking at chevy silverado no year one thousand dollars let's look at the big picture all right what we're seeing here is a lot of paint stripping lots of paint problems okay it's an automatic uh wow we seem to have a cold air intake on this uh, engine here eh. uh, this is a straight up work truck um nothing fancy let's see what the description says 1995 chevy silverado runs and drives perfect no title 5.7 throttle body injection this is an old city truck i got and restored it all it's missing is paint and, it and a title and a title only selling to pay for school so Never buy a vehicle without a title. This is a problem waiting to happen. Moving along. 2010 Dodge charge of $500. Is it real? <laughs> Let's look at a big picture. Yeah, it's very real for $500, guys. Look at this. This is a disgrace. Oh, my life. Good Lord. This is a... What the heck? What, what is this? What is this? Is this a shower inside a car? Oh my God. God. Let's get out of here. I, I, uh, okay. Description parts. Uh, I shudder to think what kind of parts could be, a, could be you know. Oh my God. Mm. Oh, 2000 Toyota Solara for $1,500. Mm, let's look at a big picture. I'm liking this. Uh, seeing some paint fade on the bonnet, but uh, otherwise the panels look pretty straight. Um, let's see here. Um, I'm say, I'm gonna think that this is a foot. Oh, we've got a little uh, fender bender damage uh, right about here. Uh, not a deal breaker though. Um, still, I'm thinking this is a four cylinder, which is probably. Uh, yeah, I don't see a V6 badge. It's probably a four cylinder making it 2.4. But these cars are pretty well equipped. Um, leather seats. Okay. Oh, here we go. Yep. See, leather seats. But uh, the fact that the front seats are covered might very well mean they're uh, hiding uh, some tearing on the leather. Hmm, 148,000 plus miles, barely broken in for Toyota. Uh, this person has all the receipts and all that, the service that the dealer. Ah, see, there you go. Wow, I was wrong, guys. This is the V6. Hmm, well equipped. All right, let's see what the description says. 2000 Toyota Solar Clean Title runs to drive smooth, cool AC, sunroof, new battery, new motor bounce, new spark plugs and quads with new wires, Toyota on top. But fine, Lexus quality underneath, strong lab V6 engine, still has a lot of life left in her. She was LLA $1,000 spent on keeping her running great. Only thing is paint is faded. Yep, I say go right for it. $1,500 can't beat that excellent price. I endorse that one. All right, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling down. Eh, I'm not even going to look at that. 2007 Ford F-150, 4000 mm, No, no. Uh, I'm not going to fall for that truck. All right, 2004 Nissan Sentra for $1,100. Totally believable. All right, let's look at the big picture. Lots of paint fade, as is the case with this uh, genre, with this uh, year. Yeah. I see some color, some color mismatch uh, here versus here, but not a deal breaker. Uh, let's see here. I don't like this this Sentra, the... the, the, the uh, the rear end is, eh, I don't know, 208,820. Wow. Now we're talking the traditional Nissan kind of miles, eh? All right, no description. $1,100, I wouldn't do it. Uh, maybe $400 or so. Yeah. Five at the pinch. All right, let's keep. <laughs> 2,400 Odyssey for 4,000. Um, let's, let's humor this for, for a second. All right, let's look at the big picture. Now, these things were very nice people movers. Um, when they came out, they really hit the road running, you know, a, comp a competitor for the, the uh, Chrysler uh, triplets and the Toyota Sienna and all these established guys, you know, Ford Windstar, Freestar, whatever they were calling it at the time. And, you know, it was Honda and, you know, people were really excited. The problem is that these vehicles had a problem with their transmission. A lot of people used to say, hey, you know, buy an Odyssey, buy a transmission and keep it in the trunk just in case. Uh, yeah, they had a remarkable uh, failure rates. All right, description. Was daily driver code show its misfire, change coil pack, still running rough? 
Ease of experiment mechanic can be driven. Mm. I can tell you the last of last thing you have to worry about is the engine. You know, you've got bigger fish to fry. A thousand dollars. I wouldn't I wouldn't go near it, not even for that. Okay, let's keep moving. Nineteen ninety eight Toyota camera for a thousand. Eh, this thing looks totally trashed. Alright, let's look at the big picture. You know, let's zoom in here a little bit. Um God, this is oh my god, this is a destroyed vehicle if there ever was one. Yeah, thousand dollars. Yeah, right. I have the title runs fine. I just changed the radiator. Big deal. Car has been thrashed. Right, 1998 Honda Accord for eleven hundred dollars. You guys know how I feel about this one. Let's look at the big picture. Yeah, picture singular. Oh my life, I hate that. Oh, okay. ooh, the seller is uh okay. I don't even know what that means. Anyway, moving on. Oh, 1995 Chevy Blazer for 950. Totally believable. Let's look at the big picture. All right, right away, I see some paint fade. Not a deal breaker. Moving along. Oh, more paint fade. Uh, still not a deal breaker yet. You know, these these trucks were, were fairly fairly all right. You know, um, nothing nothing major really. I mean. It was GM typical GM truck, you know. It was, you know, some good. Uh, it was well built back in the day. Um, yeah, what can I say? Yeah, let's see what's going on. Uh, let's look at the description. Runs good. Just transportation is a battery. Price is firm for nine hundred fifty dollars. Yeah, I say, all right, why not? Take a chance. Live a little. All right, let's scroll down a little bit here. Let's see what else is here. Ah. Uh, huh. All right, uh, all right, let's keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. I'm seeing some vehicles here that I'd normally look at, but uh, try to move outside of the run of the mill stuff. Uh, Nissan truck for $1,200. Let's look at this here for a second. Let's look at the big picture. Now, this thing has not run in a long time, and do you see the price that these things are commanding? All right, look at this. Single cab, short bed, probably a four-cylinder, two-wheel drive for sure. Uh, let's see, this is a basket case. It's a, it's a manual, which most of these were back in the day. Uh, it's, uh, let me see, is it a four-cylinder? It probably is. Yeah, it is. It most certainly is a four-cylinder. 2.4 liters back in the day. All right, description. Definitely let it a project. The motor works fine, but it's not starting at the moment because of bad fuel pump. It has a five-speed manual transmission and good working condition. 1200 best offer or hit me up with trades. Twelve hundred dollars is just way too much. Vehicle isn't even running. I don't care what they say. This vehicle needs way more work than this. That, but you know, I always like these trucks. I mean, I would entertain it, but you know, guys, uh, proceed with caution. Oh, two thousand four Chevrolet Monte Carlo for a thousand dollars. Let's look at the big picture. All right, a right away. I'm liking it. Um, I'm seeing. Uh, is that hubcaps? I'm seeing hubcaps on this car. Which means, uh, I'm sure what it means to be honest with you. I can't recall ever seeing one of these cars with hubcaps. Um, yes, which in te that says to me that it's a lower spec model, cloth interior, um, not a deal breaker. I like these cars. They're ugly, but you know they they've got uh, solid mechanicals on the lead. Let's see the description. Mechanic specialist. I've blown head gasket, no water in oil though. It's building pressure in the cooling system and overheats. Mm. Not too sure what the problem with this might be, but um, yeah, thousand dollars, knock off two hundred dollars, eight hundred dollars, and you know, kind of make it into a project. All right, well, tell you what, guys. Um, hmm. You know what? I think I'm gonna call it a day right here. You know, um, guys, listen as usual. If you like what's going on, like, share, subscribe, and hey, it was fun. Uh, you know, coming at you today and showing you these cars and. Hey, tell you what, I'll see you guys soon.